Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will learn how we can call APIs in Angular application. So let's start with the points of this video. First of all, we will learn what is API, how API flows work when we are integrate API with the Angular. After that, we will uh, uh, make a service and uh, we will call our API in that service. After that, we will display our data in component and at the last, we will discuss some interview interview questions also. So now the question is, what is API? So as we know, Angular cannot connect with the database directly. So we need a interface to get the data from database or get the data from our server side language. That time API basically works. So API full form is application programming interface. So they are the basically interface between our server side language and our JavaScript. With them, we can just fetch the data. So example of API here, you can see that, let's say we want to show a list of uh, users then. So here you can see that we have a, a array of uh, objects or you basically, you can say that this is a JSON format and here we have uh, the details of users like uh, name, email address and uh, some other details for every users. And we will fetch them in uh, our Angular application and we will display in our components. So now let's understand how actually APIs work in the Angular framework. So in component, basically we display the data in service. We call our API here. We will define the uh, API URL, API data and all. After that, there is a HTTP module. This module is responsible for fetching the data from server. And uh, this is already made by the Angular. So we just need some methods from this module and they automatically call our API. And uh, this is the server side here. Our API is created and we just fetch the data from this API, right? So here basically two operations are performed in HTTP module and server. One is request. We will request to the server to fetch the API and then it will just give the response of our API. All right, this is much simpler. After that, let's create a service. So for the service, what we need to do, First of all, we have to open the terminal. You can use your uh, operating system terminal or your code editor terminal. Keep in mind, you should be in the correct uh, folder of Angular. Now, let's simply put here ng g for generate service and our service name. Let's say user data. So, you can put your uh, service name according to your work. So, let's say we are just fetching data from this user. That's why you can just make it user. But here you can see that we have lots of user. So the API name should be users data, not the user data. And we can create our service inside a folder so that uh, there will be a well managed folder structure. So let's simply put here uh, services, then uh, user data. And when we will enter, you will find that inside a folder with the name of services. We have uh, two files. One is our service and second one is our service.test file. And this is basically service.test file is basically used for uh, testing our uh, service. But that is the another thing we will learn in that, that thing in the different video. All right. So here you can see that we have a service here. So now in that service, we will basically call our API. And to call our API, first of all, we have to import HTTP client uh, module. You can say that, right? Actually, this is not a model. This is basically a class. So let's uh, import from the rate angular common HTTP. And let's simply put here HTTP TTP uh, client. Yep. And uh, we can just uh, create a type of uh, parameter type of uh, HTTP client. So just simply put here private and just simply put here HTTP and it will be a type of uh, HTTP client. And after that, let's create a function. Let's say our function name is users and this function will call our API, right? So just simply put here this return. So first of all, we can return data. What actually happened with my keyboard return now this is fine 
dot http dot it have a method so we are calling here get api so we will use get api and inside it we will pass our api url so this is our api url so you can find the uh, lots of free apis on internet if you want and if you want to create that api without server side scripting language that time you can use uh, a json server and i already created a video on json server link will be provided in the description box after that let's simply put here api url here but this is not to look like a good way so we can just simply take here url property and we can simply just pass this url property here this dot url perfect now this function is ready to uh, call the api now one more thing that we need to do here we have to call http client module inside our app.module.ts many developers actually forget to just uh, import this module that's why they are get the error keep in mind don't forget that so just simply put here import something from at the rate angular common http and let's see simply put here http client module and register it inside the imports uh, don't import it inside the declaration uh, sometime guys actually do the mistake so we have to import it inside imports all right so after that let's uh, get this uh, api data inside our app.component.ts and let's import our api uh, let's import our service here import something from uh, service user service and let's import it user service data we need a constructor here inside a constructor let's take a private parameter and you can put here let's say user data or something it will be type of uh, user data service class and uh, after that let's simply use here uh, let's take a users parameter and inside it we will store our data it can be type of any for a moment all right and after that let's simply put here this dot user data dot function name and it have actually subscribe function uh, dot subscribe again sorry guys for uh, interruption subscribe actually uh, subscribe is a function that will work like that uh, so let's say we have uh, lots of component in our uh, app module let's say 10 component but we want to use this uh, user service only in two or three component that time subscribe will work and it will just provide the data only to the required component right and this is a function uh, or you can say that this is a callback function also so here we can just uh, use this data so let's print it what we are getting in this data like this and let's check it out so here you can see that we got the old data last one is with the id 10 and batman at the rate test.com here you can see that batman at the rate and with the id 10 perfect so now let's pass this data to this dot users like this and we don't need this uh, console dot one we can remove it and now let's uh, just display this data with the help of users in our html so simply put here uh, let's uh, take a ul li star ng4 take a let user of users and simply put here user dot name and here you will find that it's working fine we are getting at the list of the users right? so now let's say you want to use this service you use this api in our uh, footer component also so let's create a footer component quickly ng g4 generate c4 component and footer name and uh, within that time what we can do here we can use it 
uh, in our app component like this and now you will find that this is working fine here but this is not to look like a fold a footer so let's uh, just make it a complete footer go to the footer.html we don't need that tag just take a div class footer take h1 tag put here some text let's say footer after that uh, we can add some class CSS so that uh, it can be just go down to the bottom and we can just apply some color also so let's use here footer position absolute bottom zero after that uh, background color background color let's say sky blue color not column it should be color snow or white whatever you want to use padding we don't need padding just simply use here uh, width let's say 99 percent and now let's see how it actually look like now this is look like a more than footer <laughs> not not more than footer but much better right so now let's uh, try to use this data in our footer also so let's go to the our uh, app.component.ps file and just get this data right so i am just copying and pasting this data so that we can save the time and you will also get to know how we can use this uh, data right uh, how we can use this service in two component just simply paste it perfect and we have to import this class this is imported all great so now let's uh, just copy this ul also and paste it inside our app.component.html and you will find that this is working fine so we can just uh, uh, import here email address also if you want like this great Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video.